I didn't even know how I was going to start this video. I go by Prophet Israel. God just told me people going to want to kill me for sharing this testimony. But. Chapter 3, verse 6 says, Shall the trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? So, the little girl name is Isabella. I don't know if she got her father's last name or her mother's last name. Her mother's last name is Weathers. So, it's, it, I think it's Isabella Weathers. The mother name is Yolanda Elizabeth Weathers. I met Yolanda Weathers in a psychiatric unit in Grand Rapids, Michigan, 2016, along with brother Suave Mitchell or Suave Harris. We had powerful conversations in the psych ward. It was great beyond measure, great beyond measure. We was one in the psych ward. Meaning uh, the three became one. The, the Jesus Christ said the two become one. Us, us three became one in the psych ward. We was all believers in Jesus Christ. Me, Suave, and Yolanda. When, I met, when we met in the psych ward. I'm only repeating it because somebody just came on the line. In case you don't know what I'm talking about. So, we always going through a lot of spiritual attacks. I don't even know if it was the first day. But I could just say the first week. Yolanda come up to me. And she, she had a yellow sticky pad. And she wrote on it. You are going to prophesy amongst the nations. That's exactly what she wrote down. I still remember to this day like it was nothing. I mean, like it was yesterday. And to sum it up, that's 2016, September, we went. The next time I seen y Yolanda was the next year, 2017, December. A month before me and Yolanda seen each other again, I had her come on a prayer line. The prayer line was um, ran by or orchestrated by Dwayne Maddox. He's on Facebook. He's very demonic, but I didn't know at the moment. He claimed he don't, he don't claim, he, don't, he said he don't claim titles, but he just said he have dreams and visions. His prayer line, the November or maybe early December, because I went to the house December 20th. I just even seen paperwork that I had in here about when I went on a train, Amtrak. Anyways, that's not really that important. But when she went on his line, no, when we, we, me and her was texting, me and Yolanda was texting, right before we went on his prayer line, Dwayne Maddox, he's on Facebook, so y'all can look him up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are so good. So before me and Yolanda went on Dwayne Maddox prayer line, demonic Dwayne Maddox, or Mad Dog Dwayne Maddox, because he's a madman. Somebody who go, he's, who went mad, but they think I went mad. Before me and Yolanda went on Dwayne Maddox prayer line, we text, we was texting. If she watched this video, because I'm going to send it to her, she, she, she most likely will remember. Even though she's on a lot of psych meds too, she remembers certain things because God is God is doing some mighty things in both our lives, but the devil is trying to he's trying to he's trying to cause us to commit suicide. I'm telling you, he is. So before we went on his line, me and her was texting, and we both said, "Oh, we about to get on." So we got on like literally at the same time. As soon as I get on, I noticed he say, "Oh, y'all women who got abortions, if you yeah, if y'all don't repent, hey, no, 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 he did not say repent. I was about to say that. He said, if y'all women." He said, y'all women who got abortion, Jesus Christ is going to say, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. He said it. He said those exact words. He did never say, oh, if you repent, you will be saved or you will be delivered or you will be forgiven. He did not say that. So when I heard him say that, I knew she was hurt. 
I just sensed she was hurt. Sum it up. We got off the prayer line. I texted her. I said, how, 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 how did you like that? She said, it was okay, but I know it wasn't okay, but I, I didn't say nothing to her. I didn't say nothing about what he mentioned because I, I just knew she was hurt. But I should have said something, but God didn't want it for a reason because it's a lot of God knows what's best for us. Though it sound right, it seemed like I should have said something, but so anyways, that's, that was probably early December, like the beginning of December, 2017. Mind you, the end of the end of 2017, I goes to Yolanda's house. I left on the 20th, got there on the 20th because I'm, I'm in Grand Rapids, Michigan. She live in Jackson, Michigan, only like two and a half hours away. While I'm on the train, about an hour away from her house, she texts me and says she attempted suicide with a razor. The same razor, the same razor her daughter, Isabella, grandmother gave her. So me and her, no, I didn't think nothing at first. Yolanda thought her grandmother, not not Yolanda's grandmother, y Yolanda thought Isabella's grandmother was into witchcraft because because Yolanda's daughter's grandmother used to try to get words from Yolanda as if she was like a psychic or something like that. All types of stuff that Yolanda didn't didn't tell me yet. Or she's a lot of stuff that she never told me that I know she still got stuff hidden, but not that she didn't, she don't have to tell me, but all I know is some things is going to be revealed. God's going to expose all darkness. I'm not saying she's hiding things on purpose, but some things need to be revealed. Like I'm going to tell you right now. That was 2016. That was 2017 when I left, left her daughter outside. Not for dead because she was not going to die. God told me she was going to be okay. That was 2017. This is 2020. 2020, Yolanda tells me her grandmother from her dad's side was a witch. She was into witchcraft. Why she didn't tell me 2017 when we was going through witchcraft attacks? See, now you see why things happen the way it happened. So that's another story. So bloodline witchcraft attacks happen. I'm not saying there's anybody in her bloodline still doing it. I don't know about that. I'm not going to assume. I'm not going to judge or stuff. I don't know. So when I'm on a train, like I was saying, I text Yolanda. She says she attempted suicide with the razor. Isabella, grandmother, her name is Cindy Fred, F-R-I-D-D. -D. I'm only saying all this because they're going to they're gonna frame me, trying to make it seem like I went crazy. I, I try to kill her daughter, none of that. I don't care what they say, though. My God said he's going to vindicate me, and they're going to hate me, but God's going to rape me. The devil going to try to debate me, and these devil cops officers going to try to rape me, but it ain't going to prosper. So... When I finally get to Yolanda's house, I mean, not Yolanda's house. Let me slow down. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When I finally get off the train, it took me about like, it took Yolanda like probably five to 10 minutes to get there after I got there. Then, mind you, mm, yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me of this. Yolanda's sister lived like one block away from her. No, they lived on the same block. Yolanda asked her sister to drive her to pick me up. To pick us, to, 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 yeah, to pick me up. Her sister refused. Yolanda thought her sister was into witchcraft too, because she went to a psychic and maybe many other reasons. I don't know the other reasons right now, but I'm sharing everything I remember through the power of the Holy Spirit because I'm not playing no games. Then. So when I when I when I seen Yolanda when she came to the Amtrak train station to pick me up in Jackson, Michigan, she greeted me with a smile. First off, she did this. Well, no, don't say that. She greeted me with a smile. First off, she just attempted suicide. What is she smiling for? Remember, we put on fake smiles, fake facades. Not saying that she was she was wrong for that. But I'm not trying to. I'm not. I'm not blaming her for that. What I'm trying to say is. I, when I attempted suicide in 2013, my sister walked up to me while I'm drenched in cold, cold water in May 2013. She asked me, are you okay? I said, yeah. I wasn't smiling, though. I said, yeah. She just went upstairs. I wasn't okay. I'm not. So when you watch this video, around, if you watch this far, I'm not talking down to you. I'm just saying we're not supposed to fake it. See, many people are faking it till they making it. T.D. Jake in it. Slippery Sly Serpent Snake in it. So... Don't share that because Yolanda, she's suffering and do not share that. That's, that's not between, that's between you and her, not between everybody else. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
Jesus. <sighs> okay. So we, we get to our house or whatever. We just talking about God, talk about Jesus Christ and sum it up. She's just suffering, going, hearing voices, the demons is tormenting her mind. I'm, 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 I'm stable. I'm, 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 I'm stable. I'm stable. But she's just being tormented her mind. Then to sum it up, days come, go by. I was there from the 20th to the 26th or the 25th. I think the 26th. Christmas was on the 26th that year, I think. But, but the whole time we there, I'm stable in my mind. But she was unstable. But I didn't know. So we were just texting, talking on the phone. You can't tell somebody unstable if you're just talking on text or something. But, but. What I know is we going through some witchcraft attacks like never before. The room that she was originally in, it had like, it, it was paint on the wall, but it looked like claw marks. Like it looked so demonic, like claw marks. And when I looked at it, it looked like suicidal, it looked like suicidal marks, like on somebody's arm. So I'm like, what the heck? It was just so scary to look at that. So I'm, I'm starting to get paranoid, to be honest. I'm starting to get, go through psychosis or whatever they call it. Then all of, I'm, then all of a sudden... We hearing noise at the top of the roof. We hearing we hearing all types of things like demonic forces attacking us, whether people believe it or not. We just hearing all types of evil stuff. Let me see what else I'm gonna share. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. She was laying on a um a sheet, a white sheet. With blue and red colors on it, it was witchcraft on the sheet. The whole sheet was, it was, it was, um, I don't know if I got it on this page, but it was on my other YouTube, my other, slow down. It was on my other Facebook page that Facebook deleted my Facebook page because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm a divergent and an insurgent. You remember that movie? Those movies? They don't like people that, that come against the government. The wicked government. And I'm, I'm not against the government in the sense of uh, Romans chapter 13. I'm against the government that's, that's, that's love Satan. Busy serving Satan. Busy steady hating. Busy steady debating. But God going to punish y'all for y'all witchcraft sorceries that y'all got on the world through the, the Hollywood, through all these movies, through the TV shows. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's Arabic. If you know anybody that speaks Arabic, ask them what they, if they know what that means. Yolanda's daughter was talking to Yolanda. Who Allah Yolanda told me when I was there, her daughter t or it was she okay, Yolanda Yolanda's next door neighbor was her friend that she grew up with in high school. I mean in elementary school, junior high school. She had a daughter that's that was Isabella age, like around her age. One of the little girls said the little doll that they had, I think was my pony doll, which is demonic, satanic, Luciferian, Luminati. I researched it when I was at house. One of the little girls said the doll told them to kill somebody or kill one of the little girls. I don't know exactly how it happened. Lilana probably remember, but I know what I'm speaking is the truth. I know that my redeemer lives. Whew, I wish I could get that song, man. That song was powerful. So, another episode. Yeah, my pony is wicked, satanic, Luciferian. Her, her um, her friend dressed like Jezebel, looked like a Jezebel. But it's not about exposure. But I'm only sharing that because this is deep. How the demons work. Me, um, Yolanda's daughter and the other girl's daughter was was they wasn't fighting like real fight. They was fighting but play fighting. But it was it was getting more ex extreme. And all of a sudden, we go upstairs. They was upstairs. We go upstairs and see what's going on. Then we all sit down. We all sitting down. I'm sitting next to Yolanda. Then the other ladies across from us, the little girls spraying water on them. Talking about this is holy water. Anyways, then the lady she stuck out her tongue like this, like a serpent. She was not doing it like how women just do it to to, to be funny. She was doing it as a serpent. The serpent moved through her. The serpent was exposing it to me. Then when me and Yolanda, no no no, when me and Yolanda was in the psych ward in 2016. Another lady did that same thing, but that's another story. Let me see what else that I want to share. Get to sum it up, the last day, right? We wanted to go somewhere, or oh, to the hospital, because Yolanda had a, a birth control. They forced her to get, they forced Yolanda to get a birth control in her arm, a birth control chip in her arm, or pin, whatever you want to call it. And 
on top of the birth control pin, it had a triangle. So we thought that was like some type of Illuminati stuff. So we went to go to the hospital that day to get it removed. We the co- uh, we was in we went to um Family Dollar, and all of a sudden, it was just so demonic in there. I just sent something very demonic in there. To sum it up, they called the cops on us. I was not shouting in there. I spoke Arabic for the first time. A whole sentence I spoke. A doctor guy said what I said. He interpreted what I said. I don't remember to this day what I said, but he interpreted what I said. It wasn't no lakarma shit. It was a whole sentence. But praise God. To sum it up, they called it. No, I'm going to say this part. The, I gave the lady my, my, my cash in order for her, instead of, I mean, instead of her giving me back my cash in my hand, she dropped my cash on a grant on, on a table on a desk or whatever, whatever they call it, counter. And I looked at her like, you you kind of put it in my hand? Racist. But I don't think she was really racist. I think she was just scared because the power of God was on me so strong. But you're not going to say, how why would God allow you to do that? Anyways, let's keep going because I know God is with me. Was with me, is with me, and forever will be with me. So ain't nothing going to form against you, sure prosper. So it's to sum it up, they called the cops on me and Yolanda. When me and Yolanda was in the double doors, standing, waiting for the cops, Cause we said, oh, I no, I said she was. She didn't really say much. I said we gonna we gonna wait for the cops, cause we ain't doing nothing wrong. All of a sudden, Yolanda said to the dark. She, she ain't said to the dark cop. She said to me. She said that's that's the serpent. She said it to the dark cop. So sum it up. We we I think most like I I asked the cop, can can you take us to the hospital? Cause the buses wasn't working that day because it was Christmas. I, he said, no, he's not going to take us. So that was confirmation. He was the serpent. Cops can take us to the hospital sometimes. They can if they ain't got nothing to do. But he chose not to do it. To sum it up, Yolanda ended up going to the hospital. I don't even know how she went to the hospital. I think they called it ambulance. What the? No, this is now. This is some weird stuff. See, my memory is so bad. Why didn't I go to the hospital with them? What? I mean, not with them, with Yolanda. See, I need to know, Yolanda, I need to, I mean, I, I, already, I already told you guys I was going to show you why a lot of things happened already. So, at the end of the day, I believe you're going to watch this whole video because this is deeper than rap. Yeah, did, did the cops take you to the to the um hospital or did the ambulance? Because why did not go with you? Why did, I mean, let me say it like this. So, to sum it up, Yolanda went to the hospital. Yolanda told me, so check this out. Yolanda told me to take her home. Because she she sent something evil was was gonna happen. That's why she didn't want Isabella to go with her. So she told me to take Isabella home. I was stable enough to take her home. To be honest, not fully stable, but I was a little stable. I was stable enough to take her home. All I know is I took her home in a um shopping cart because it was a lot of snow outside. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't fully stable, but I got I got home. Remember, I, that was my first time ever in Jackson, Michigan. So how did I? go from family dollar to her house it was only like two or three blocks and i still remember where it was at all of a sudden and so somebody somebody like offered to give me a ride it was weird like it was weird and i'm like nah somebody offered to give me a ride i'm like get the heck out of here like i was i sent something very demonic <sighs> i got another testimony and shit but not right now not gonna share that right now like the day before the two days before oh gosh oh my gosh i'm remembering so much I'm, I'm okay. Like two days before that, thank you. I'm, I'm gonna go back to that, but I'm no, I'm, I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm going, I'm going to I'm going to Yolanda's house. While I go, I get to Yolanda's porch. She gave me the key to go to her house. I tell you no lie. I don't. I can't remember fully, but it, it, it just seemed like it has something to do with my suicide attempt in 2013. But the key that she gave me that I used to open the door, it would not open. And it scared the mess out of me. It it would not open. When I when I meant by I can't remember, she had the two locks. So that means that I most likely had two keys. So most likely I would op- I would try to open it with I would try to open both locks with the same key. But I don't remember if I did, but most likely I would. Why would not? Why wouldn't I? But I know for a fact one of the at least one of the locks would not open. So I'm scared. Like what the heck? Isabella crying. Most likely. I don't think she was crying because she was cold. I think she was crying because her mother, she was she, she, didn't, she didn't know where her mother was at. Yeah, she was like, where's my mother? Where's my mommy? And I'm scared, like, oh, my gosh. Like, she was just crying. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So all of a sudden, the whole time, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. So before that, 
me and Yolanda was noticing Isabella clothes. First off, Isabella clothes at her age, they had little, she has short skirts for her. First off, why are they making little short skirts for little girls? That's very demonic. Very demonic. So she had a lot of clothes that we thought was witchcraft. So I heard in my in my spirit that that to take her clothes off because the whole time we was thinking it was witchcraft. So we was thinking to get her new some. We we, we went we actually went to Femi Dollar also to get her some some stuff anyway, some clothes and whatever. And all of a sudden, I hear my spirit take her take not take her clothes off, take her boots and take her um coat off and put her put her on the side of the house and. Just walk away. That's what I heard. And as as I did that, now first I ain't just do it at, at, at all. I'm, I'm seeking God while, while I'm hearing that. I'm like, God, this is not you, God. This is not you. I'm, I'm actually looking in the sun. It was covered by a lot of clouds. I'm looking in the sun, looking, looking for God. Not that's not not as if God. That's where God resides. But I'm just saying, I ain't know where God. I mean, I know God is within us, but I was confused. Like God, what do you, what what am I hearing right now? Is this you? I'm thinking. That I'm, I'm crying right now. Like, what the heck is going on? So I'm like. I took I took her took her stuff off, brought her to the side of the house, left her there, walked down the block, cop come. Less than one minute. First off, she she first off, how, how did them cops come that quick? They were they, they didn't they didn't come five minutes later. She wasn't in the she wasn't in the snow with her, her socks on and for five minutes. It was it was less than one minute. I walked up the block and the cops came. Look what I did. I said, here you go. He said, no, I'm not going to arrest you. So, you know, like he said, I'm not going to arrest you. He took me in the car, took me to Allegiance Hospital. They pledging allegiance to the devil. Yeah, keep playing with people. Keep playing with God's people. God's going to punish y'all. Oh, he's just making up stuff. I'm not making up nothing. That hospital was satanic. I ain't going to talk about another. I've got testimonies in that hospital, but I'm not going to talk about that. Go back to earlier, what I want to share earlier. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As 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 I'm talking about Dwayne Maddox and Sergio Rodriguez, he's a part of Dwayne Maddox. He sounds very homosexual on the phone, but and Dwayne Maddox battled with homosexual in the past, he claimed, but that's another story. As I'm talking about Dwayne Maddox and Sergio, Yolanda is like, Stop talking about them. I can't. I can't stand when you talk about them. And then all of a sudden, I, I either I sneezed or like a phlegm came out the came out my mouth and they went on my hand. And when I looked at my hand, it looked like a serpent. So I immediately did I call? I literally posted on Facebook, and then I actually called Dwayne Maddox, and I rebuked him in Jesus' name. So. And another thing that I want to share that just came back to me, thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm looking out a window because I was experiencing so much evil witchcraft stuff in that apartment. I mean, in that house she was in. I, I, I look, I look out the window, and I'm watching. I watch a car parked in front of her um house because she told me in the past some black truck would would park in front of her house, and it was something very strange about that. And then some um some people came to her house to give Isabella some candy for for. Some stuff for Halloween, for, not Halloween. Some stuff for cri Christmas, and she refused to take get, take it from them. And they tried to take her daughter in the past. The, the people was wicked, very wicked. They tried to force her to get the candy or whatever, the clothes or whatever it was. No, no, no toys. And we, she was like, it's not take. She's not accepting those toys. So these to mostly toys are demonic. But we didn't tell them that because they would try to take her daughter. But get back to what I was saying. So I'm looking at the window. I see a car parked in front of her house, but the guy goes like way down, way up the block. So I'm like, that's strange. But it's not, that's not necessarily strange. God told me, but I'm, I'm, but that's strange. Sometimes it could be strange. The all of a sudden, God told me, "You are a watchman." That's what I heard in my spirit. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Verse 7 says, Surely the Lord do nothing, but he reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
before I came to Jackson, Michigan, Yolanda told me, she said, when you get here, you're going to be spiritually drained. God told me two years later, 2019, which is last year, he said, I'm going to, he said, the Midwest is going to be destroyed. Jackson, Michigan is in the Midwest. Witchcraft came upon us so strong at, in, in Jackson, Michigan. So, Brother Joker, I just finished, I'm about to finish this video. This video is very deep. I hope you watch this video again, because the video sound very wicked, but it is very wicked. Not that I'm wicked, but there's some witchcraft going on in this land like never before. So, I think I shared everything I needed to share. All I know is what's, what's hidden in the dark sure coming to the light. Everything that's hidden in the dark shall come to the light. What we what we what we do in darkness, what we do in secret places, God shall expose us openly. Ezekiel twenty two says, verse one and two says, "Son of man, son of man, will you judge the bloody city and show her all her abominations? Who is going to be like those modern? Who going to be who going to be those modern day prophets like Ezekiel?" Oh, God don't send prophets no more. For, uh, in the past, God spoke through the prophets, but now he speak through Jesus Christ, so he's, he don't send no more prophets. That's not, saying he, that's not saying he don't send no more prophets. See, people don't know. People take one verse, and they, and they say what they think it means. God said he's the one, basically, that gives interpretations of the word, not us. So I'm going to leave it at that. Elon Musk, I heard that's a very wicked satanic man, part of the Mark of the Beast system. I don't know why he just came in my spirit, but I know I'm about to prepare because the Midwest is about to be destroyed. F futuristically, the whole earth is going to be destroyed by fire. Some people talk about it as a nuclear bomb. Did God use man to destroy the earth, whole earth by water in the days of Noah? So why would he use man to destroy the whole earth by fire? Who's going to get all the glory, man or God? Okay. And, and in Jesus' name, he's going, to, he's going to hit us with the rod, with the rod of discipline. So I pray that you all be blessed, stress less, and be depressed less, and only in Jesus' name. I'm also gonna share this too. So Yolanda Weathers, Weathers have a have a brother named Ray Sean Weathers. He played for the um and he played in the NBA on the, on the NBA Suns. And I finally got, oh, I, after when I got into the psych ward, I called him. I called his wife. I called him, and I called his uh, Yolanda's mother because she gave me she gave me her phone. I didn't have to say all that, but, and he gave me some good encouragement in the psych ward. Like he, he didn't even like get up. Like he was like, he did a great, he did a good Christian thing. He didn't give me no bad talk. He didn't like say, man, you, I'm about to, I'm about to beat you up. I'll come kill you. None of that. He ain't say none of that. He was cool, calm and collected about it. Gave me some encouragement. Just seek the Lord, whatever he else he said. That was amazing. Then all of a sudden, years later, like last year, I find, I find his Facebook and we talking on messenger. And all of a sudden, he said he forgives me. Then to sum it up, about an hour later, he blocks me. That's not that's not a forgiving spirit. So, all I know is the devil is coming for everybody that's living a true Christian life. If you're not being attacked by the devil, you better watch how you are living. Because the devil don't care if we're living for the world, if we're living like the world. Be in the world, but not of the world. I'm being attacked like never before. I just got out the psych ward. But you see in this video, I'm not talking talking so fast. I'm not all over the place. These last few videos, I have not been like that because the Lord is doing something. They have nothing to do with these psych meds, psych drugs, I mean, sorcery, witchcraft, potions, and spells. God is going to raise hell using the devil, the persecutors, to do it. Habakkuk chapter 1. These devils going to have so much fun with their wickedness. But God is going to re recompense them with his righteous anger, his fury, his wrath. Anyways, um, I'm going to go now because my dad's supposed to be here. But what I know is my father in heaven will never leave me nor forsake me.